prepared to, to stand up for their own rights. And, you know, this positively speaking does that through the educators, but also we have a speakers bureau made up of members, Alliance for Living members, people who have the disease, who are willing to put themselves out there, share how they got the disease, you know, whether it was um, sexual encounters, whether it was the use of drugs, God forbid it was rape, you know, and there's so much date rape. I mean, you talk about oh, the military. I was reading those statistics. That's horrible. Horrible, horrible. Um, date rape. Yeah. You know, young girls, young boys don't understand what date rape is. I mean, uh, there are a lot of kids and, and women in college and boys in college that have PTSD, you know, because they did not, they felt culpable. They felt like they were responsible, and yet, you know, the persuasion that was used was so insidious, oh, yeah. you know, that they felt compelled, yes. you know, or they were duped, you know, oh, or yeah. they had something to drink that they didn't know or drugs that they were given, and it sure. just... It, it happens all the time, I know. I, one of our members, um, interestingly enough, we were talking about this last mm -hmm. night with one of our members who... Um, who was um, he's traveling around Europe, tra um, visiting hostels in Europe, and he was drugged. Fortunately, um, in his case, the drug he wound up, he thinks the drug may have been intended for somebody else, but but um, he got, managed to get home before the thing took effect. I guess it made him pretty sick. But, oh, um, good lord! But he was uh, he actually somebody slipped something in his drink, um, and we know other people this has happened to. This mm -hmm. this is not an uncommon thing. It isn't at all. Um, but yeah, some of the stuff that goes on, and, and I think you know, we've sort of become complacent. But um, but there's a lot of stuff going on out there, and, and, yeah. and it really is very scary. Yeah. Well, you use the word complacent, complacency. Uh, you know, people think the disease is, because there are pills out there that you can now pop. Um, you can get the disease and pop a pill in the morning, mm. and you're just fine. But they don't realize that you can become reinfected with a different strain. You know, I mean, you can have multiple strains in your body. Um, these pills that you're taking can make you so violently ill, you yes. can't leave your home. You know, um, the side effects are, are vicious, just yeah. vicious. And your organs, you know, your organs are going to age 10 to 15 years more quickly. And, um, I mean, dementia, there have been studies now that Alzheimer's and dementia, people are getting it, you know, in their 40s and 50s now instead of, you know, that they would have gotten it maybe in their 70s or early 80s. But, um, you know, it's, it's pretty sad that the complacency yeah. is there, yet um, the crisis is still very much alive. Right. right. This, this disease is far from cured. Yeah. And um, and I know it, it, we've sort of um, you know it, it's you know this is purely observation, but um, but it seems to me that that um, for a long time it seemed like you know it, AIDS went away. It's just nobody ever talks about it anymore. Right, and, exactly. And it's like no, it's still out there. It's, I know it's very much out there, and it's not cured. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. When I talk about it, people will go, "Oh my God." Yeah, every nine and a half minutes, someone becomes infected, and they go, what? You know, yeah, I said, every nine and a half minutes, look around here, look at this table, you know, D don't think that you might not be one of those nine and a half minutes. Right, yeah. it's very scary. Because you just don't know who your partner has been with, and that's why condom usage is, is the simplest method, right. you know, of protecting yourself, mm -hmm. you know, I just don't believe people are going to adhere to it. It's, it's a funny thing. It, it's a I funny wouldn't. thing. Um, yeah, no. And condoms, condoms are so easy to use, and they're so readily available. A funny thing, you know, we we have boxes full of condoms. We give them away at um, mm -hmm. at pride events and stuff. We have trouble. I can give away cheesecakes right and left, but giving away condoms is very difficult. We have to bribe people. If you you take a cheesecake, you got to take a condom too. <laughs> 
But, um, but we found that people just don't take them. I don't know no, what it is. Don't. Are they embarrassed? I mean, we'll go to a health fair, say, the one over in Groton. You know, you, you want a health fair, right? They won't let you have condoms. They won't. Oh, there are many organizations that will not let you have condoms. My husband teaches at Metro College, and he has loads of condoms there, and he puts them out. You know, mm -hmm. on his desk, and if you play a game, you got to take, because he always has little games on his desk, too, when the students come in. You can play the game if you take a condom, yes. you know. <laughs> and uh, during the year, they move slowly, but there are certain times, like before the holidays, before graduation, they disappear like lightning, uh -huh. you know, so you know that there's a lot of activity. These kids mm -hmm. aren't blowing them up and putting water in them, you know. So, but he was the first one, and he really thought, well, he might be asked to put them in a drawer sure. or something. But wisely, uh, they're out, you know, and no That's one has said time. anything to him. But I think, God. You know, do you want to get pregnant? Do you want an STD or do you want to wear a condom? Let's be real about this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And speaking of being real, um, on uh, June the 27th, mm -hmm. it's HIV testing day. And whether or not you think you are at risk, an HIV test is so simple. You can put yourself, you can put your mind at ease. That if you have been intimate with someone, gone on to another partner, or been intimate with this person and you really don't know maybe where that person has been before, who they've loved before, satisfy yourself that you aren't carrying the disease. So you're taking care of yourself and you're taking care of any future partners. And you can get tested anywhere, you know, uh, of course at both hospitals, uh, Bacchus Hospital, Lawrence Memorial, just telephone them. Um, they have the infectious disease clinic. You can go into the emergency room and get tested, uh, and it doesn't cost anything. You can go to Planned Parenthood. You can go to, to uh, just about any PCP, your primary care physician. And even though it's not mandatory, um, you know, they're looking at getting tested every year, just, just like they take blood for, oh, sure. I have a message here on my hand, I can't <laughs> forget. Um, it, it's, it's just going to be routine. Right. You know, we would like it to be <laughs> incorporated with your pap smear. Part of a standard blood panel. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um. An interesting thing about that, and I, I'm not sure if this is still the case or not. I um, I had, um, in fact, had an AIDS test, um, an HIV test, a couple years back. It was I had my surgery, my um, my um, gender reassignment surgery. I had it in Montreal, and the doctor up there, and I, this may be true of um, all doctors in Canada or whatever. I don't know, but um, it was a requirement. Before you had the surgery, they, I mean, they had, you had to have a physical, and there were various blood tests they wanted. But one of the requirements was you had to have an AIDS test, and I did. So I had one. Um, I, my my doctor, um, I actually had it at L and M, but um, but my doctor at the time, and I don't know if this is is the case or not, but uh, anymore. But um, but there was uh, some counseling or something. He had to Absolutely. talk to me. Before this test, it was um, he said there was required counseling. It's not a lot of counseling, but he had to talk to me about the test um, before he could uh, he could do that. Well, if they're going to do the rapid test, where you're going to have the results.